Groups like ISIL, who use this irreligious ideology, you know, this, this perverted interpretation of religion to justify violence, they, they depend on ignorance. General McMaster's comments are incoherent. 100% of our enemy says there are Muslims waging jihad in the cause of Allah to establish an Islamic state under Sharia. And so ISIL is a problem because of the difficulty of it being contained for that reason and of course the terrorist threat to, to Europe, to the Middle East, to, and to our own nation. But ISIL is, is a threat that can't be contained because it's already a multi-generational security problem. There is a cycle going on where groups like ISIL who use this irreligious ideology, you know, this, this perverted interpretation of religion to justify violence. They, they depend on ignorance and, and the ability to recruit vulnerable segments of populations to foment hatred and then to use that hatred to justify violence against innocents. 100% of Sharia obliges jihad until the entire world is under Islamic rule, under Sharia. That's why it's taught in the first grade, in elementary schools, in high schools, and in Islamic universities where Sharia is taught. And Al-Azhar, the gold standard for Islamic jurisprudence on the world, teaches it. Jihad is an obligation and it is fighting, fighting the infidel until Islamic law is a law of the land. We will defeat today's enemies who cynically use a perverted interpretation of religion to incite hatred and justify horrific cruelty. That's why they do what they do. Not because of poverty, not because of a job issue, and not because they're taking advantage of ignorant Muslims. We find that the more Muslims learn about what Islam is, the more they wage jihad. So you know H.R. McMaster? I do. Uh, we spoke at the same event at VMI just last November, and I've already emailed him saying, imagine if we'd known back then uh, the uh, lofty heights you would be uh, raising to. So, What do you think his, his appointment to this post means for the Trump White House, for the National Security Council? Uh, I'm over the moon. I've already told him we're so excited he's coming on board. What's the connective tissue? Whether it's Nigeria, whether it's uh, England, whether it's uh, ISIS territory, or whether it's California, there is one connective tissue, and that's the ideology of jihadism. And that's what we need to appreciate. We need to understand the role of religion, albeit a 7th century version of Islam. 7th century Islam? What is the difference between 7th century Islam and today's Islam? Did the Quran change? Did Muhammad change something that he did? Did he come back to life and recant some of what he did? No. Islam then is the same as Islam today. Lieutenant General McMaster and Sebastian Gorka, when they speak of this threat and looking at solutions, the solutions are not based in an understanding that Sharia is the blueprint and drives everything the jihadis do. That means the solutions they're suggesting will fail and already have failed. And we lost in Afghanistan and Iraq because generals, just like Lieutenant General McMaster, continue to look elsewhere for a solution to the problem. When the, the problem is Islam itself and its doctrine, which is driving individuals and organizations by the thousands and by the millions to support the jihad and wage jihad. Hey, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right down here if you're not already subscribed. If you want to see more of our UTT videos, just click here or here and sign up for our newsletter and join us. Let's put freedom back on the offensive where it belongs.